Hey Shay and Glorious Day, it's your favorite Afro-Indigenous healer, Tiana Ray the Healer. And while I am waiting to pick up my children from school, I'm bringing you my top five crystals and herbs for just different things that I see us, you know, as spiritual beings in the flesh known as humans, we go through. So if you're going to stay tuned to watch my top five, make sure that you hit the follow button so that way you can keep up with my content and you get to find out all of the new products that I'm adding to the table, okay? But let's talk about my top five crystals and herbs for stress and anxiety relief. And I did take a few notes so that way I don't forget anything. Uh, so as far as crystals are concerned, your, my top five for stress and anxiety relief is gonna be rose quartz, citrine, amethyst, um, shungite and lapidolite. I do want to make an honorable mention for tourmaline as well. Uh, as far as herbs are concerned for stress and anxiety relief, you have ashwagandha, lemon balm, lavender, passion flower, valerian root, and I also want to make an honorable mention for jasmine and um, chamomile as well. See, this is why I write stuff down because I'm gonna forget. All right, on to my top five for migraines. When it comes to crystals, we have amethyst, citrine, uh, carnelian, selenite, and adventurine. But I also want to make an honorable mention that rose quartz is good for migraines as well. You know, a lot of times when we're dealing with stress and anxiety, what happens? We get a migraine, we get a headache. So I feel like those two kind of go hand in hand when it comes to those ailments. So that's why you'll start to see repetitive crystals that can handle similar issues. When it comes to herbs, feverfew, uh, peppermint, um, butter, burr. Oh my God, I just forgot. See, this is why I write it down. Uh, ginger root and lavender so again we have another example where lavender is good for stress and anxiety relief but also good for migraines because those two ailments kind of go hand in hand so i'm just noting my fro kind of look lopsided right now because the wind is thrashing me on this side so this side look a little flat to me but if you want uh to order ray punzel hair care products the link is in my bio okay um, also, let's get back to my list. So for career, right? So a lot of times, uh, if you've seen my past videos, I'm talking about protection, prosperity, abundance, and stuff like that. That's cool, but let's get specific when it comes to manifesting prosperity and abundance. A lot of us don't have businesses. A lot of us have jobs and careers that we're matriculating through. You know, you've been at the just same job 10 12 years, five, six years, hell, a year, okay? And you wanna move up in the company. So you have to train. That's money drawing. So that's gonna bring uh, prosperity towards you as far as a career promotion. Carnelian, soda light, rose quartz, sunstone. But I also wanna make an honorable mention for lapis lazuli, uh, especially people that are influencers, so YouTubers, uh, social media influencer you're an artist and you're wanting you know people to stream your music more or buy more of your physical art that you draw paint sketch whatever the case may be if anything that's like attached to fame things that are going to put you in the forefront of people's eye get you uh you know into the public uh sector kind of thing lapis lazuli is really good for fame uh, as far as herbs, you have calendula, uh, basil, golden seal, which I didn't even write down, but that's one of my favorites that I use for prosperity um, incantations. Spearmint, dill, which I use for incantations as well. Uh, lemongrass, honeysuckle. So you got a couple honorable mentions in that regard when it comes to uh, herbs that can help with promotion. Uh, now, the last kind of topic, I guess you could say, uh, that I'm going to be speaking on. Uh, I just turned my car back on because they they get out of school and I've got to move up in this line. <laughs> For all my parents that already know about the drive line, you already know. 
it gets hectic. But I want to talk about good health, which I don't think I've done a past video on, but it's going to be in this video. So as far as getting good health from crystals, you have amethyst, moss agate, uh, clear quartz, uh, green calcite, green adventuring, right? And an honorable mention for emerald. And then as far as herbs, uh, rosemary, thyme, sage, again, ginger, uh, black elderberry, honorable mentions, uh, oregano, if I haven't already said that, uh, turmeric, cayenne, things with capsium are really, really good when it comes to good health. So uh, drop a heart in the comments if you learned something new. You drop a thumbs up if this was just a nice refresher for you and make sure uh, that you are following me okay see ya